guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Say something. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. It's hardly ever used anymore. I haven't seen it in ages. Where have you seen these symbols before? It was a long time ago. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to fight a cyborg. I mean, guess dreams do come true. Sorry to crush your dreams, but we might not have to fight her. Oh, you're no fun. Nebula and I haven't spoken in some time. But I'm sure I can track her down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. <sighs> Enough <sighs> with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Now don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Honestly, I... I haven't given it much thought. Well, I have. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to Half World, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor... I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. This person means that much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. Let's get going. That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star-Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half-World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading towards the Collector's Museum on Nowhere. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. 
And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. And once she has Thanos... I made a promise to Rocket. They're just gonna have to wait. Forget your promise! We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half-World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes I do. We're going to Half-World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. First the Collector, now this. I wish for once you would listen to me. Heads up, everyone. We're going to Half-World. Stay out of trouble. I may not be so accommodating next time. And take care of the Milano. She's a ship, not a trash can. It's always fun seeing you, Yandu. It has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. Bye, Gamond. This is what we call great timing. this place. <laughs> Home. I haven't been back here since... Thanks for trusting me, Rocket. I'm glad you brought me here. This isn't what we're here for. Come on. Why don't you let me handle the relic, okay? Rocket? Don't touch it! Subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial vertebrae or neural implants. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Everything rests on you. You okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. Not that he cares. Oh great. Just wonderful. Nothing like getting random bits of metal shoved under your skin. If I'd known you liked it so much, I'd have let you take my turn. So... Did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. It's gonna work. Worrying keeps me alive. And the ones who don't worry? They don't seem to make it back into this room. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta be ready for whatever comes next. Catch! Nice. You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. Okay. Moment of truth. Go ahead and hook it up to the underside. Ah! Ugh, stupid piece of junk. You know your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? It's cute. Oh yeah? You're cute. I meant that as an insult. I'm so offended. Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? <laughs> now, all I need is a display and we're in business. Sync it to the facility's network. I keep having that dream. Still? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, bright. Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. It felt so real. I can barely remember. It's been so... long. But in this dream... I don't know... I'm almost there. That's a nice dream, Lila. I promise you'll see it again. Just you wait. Spent our whole lives waiting. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. From there we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. I'm going wherever you're going, lady. We'll find home somewhere. Hide it, quick! Subject 89P14. Still no progress. Begin prepping lethal injection. Rocket? I can't. I can't lose you. I'm not letting him do anything to you. You understand? Rocket, I... <laughs> Lila!
gotta move. <laughs> Doing, come on. <sighs> Lethal injection. No. Thought maybe I'd make it slower than I thought. <laughs> oh, this can't be happening. I'm sorry. There you are. Yeah. Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. I can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. No, no, you're not dying. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. Survive, Rocket! Go! You need... to get out! Now! I'm not... You again. If you're gonna run, run. And you can't do that carrying me. Come on. We're getting out of here. Both of us. Rocket, please. I've got you. Beautiful, isn't it? I knew it. Lila? No, no, Lila. What just... You had no right to see that. Those are my memories. Not yours. Look, hey, listen. I'm sorry. Little late for that. Well, I still mean it. It didn't even work! How could it not work? Come on. I really wanted it to work too, Rocket. You got to come back. She's the one who's still... Okay. Just take it. I'm sorry I dragged you out here.
thanks for, you know, going with me. I know you had other things to do. Anytime, Rocket. What are friends for? No, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. Good. You're back. Looks like Nebula's started tearing the Collector's Museum apart. Hopefully we can still catch her. <laughs>